I was working in industry for a company that made x-ray equipment. I used to do quite a lot of measurements to demonstrate the capabilities of the equipment, but I didn't have the chance to go in depth on the material, so it was an interesting opportunity to come here. My work here now as a, as a VLAN responsible consists mainly in uh, uh, developing an instrument to attract, to, let's say, our clients, our users who do measurements, uh, who are scientists from all over Europe, coming from universities or from industry, who use our measurement, our methods to characterize their samples, to do their, either their research or to do their R&D for, for example, industrial prototyping. Uh, I've been very much attracted from my very first visit. I came as a user here for one week and I've been uh, very much impressed by the international character and the mix of people and the mix of science. Physics, chemistry, biology, medicine, materials, science, um, from the very small to the very big down. You're not squeezed into your expert's corner but you can easily look around and see a, a big kaleidoscope of different research topics and different people. It's an adventure, it's multinational. So for me, being in France, that's an exciting thing and getting to learn to speak French and, and experience that culture, both working and living. A very kind of international experience only by staying in one place, just because there's uh, so many different teams from so many different countries. For a PhD, it is a great international experience. Uh, Grenoble in, in general was for me also a very attractive place when I came here first. So being surrounded by mountains and having access to the, the forests and the scenery and so much walking and other activities, it's great and it's a very sporty town. There's a big university, there's a big research and technology centres nearby and together with the Synchrotron it makes, a, it makes something like the, the European MIT. I have a collaboration with some people at INES in particular. We are in, in strong collaboration with a, a couple of teams from the CR Grenoble uh, which try to use our tools for their measurements. They make the samples, the silicon and the um, solar cells and they do the processing and the electrical characterization and then I do structural characterization here. And unlike other users who come from far away they can much better prepare their experiments because they are so close. So they can come and see us a couple of times before the real experiments. So that's a very fruitful collaboration. The CEA, the ESRF and other contributors in the area, they're all complementary working to bring more variety and possibilities to Giant as a whole. This is what it, what it needs to bring Grenoble forward eventually really to represent the highest concentration of science and technology to be found in Europe. There's a, uh, I don't see any other place where, where so many competences from high technology and natural scientists are concentrated.